Hello, oh, Vaisant here. So today I'm going to share my thoughts on the early access beta for Diablo 4. As you probably know, Diablo 4 is the next installment of the action role-playing game series from Blizzard Entertainment, set in the dark, brutal world of demons, angels, and heroes. I play as a rogue, which is one of the three playable classes in the early access beta, alongside the barbarian and the sorceress, each with their own unique weapons, skills, and playstyle. I got to level 25 in about 8 hours, which is the max level of the beta, with access only to the first act, and it's going to be wiped after the open beta coming this week. Luckily, in the beginning of the beta, I didn't get too high of a wait time for the queue, but as I was playing, I would get problems where I disconnected, just running around the world, just going from one zone to the other zone, and just talking to NPCs, I would just randomly get disconnected. And then I had queues ranging from four minutes to an hour. And it was like a queue to log in that went to another queue. And that queue went to another queue for authentication. And then you're finally in. So it was like three queues. <laughs> and at one point, I did um, show myself offline for some reason. When I was playing in the game, I would check the socials. And I, would just, I was offline and I couldn't see anyone offline. But people can still add me to the party uh, by just typing my name and stuff. And as time went by the connections uh got better and i the social stuff got fixed so that was pretty good <laughs> and i did have some bugs that some of the stuff weren't rendering like the altars i would go to this place where someone told me the altar was there i didn't see it so i left the area i came back and it was there so uh, hopefully this is getting dressed i missed a lot of altars and stuff like that running around looking in the beginning and it, probably because they didn't spawn <laughs> i was like i swear i checked this already so the game had a button scheme and the default kind of sucks and I tried it out and I will be attacking enemies when I just want to move, right? And I'm just holding the mouse and moving out of the way and then it was still attacked to like an enemy nearby instead of me moving there. Um, so I just rebind my keys to have force move as my left click and then my right click would be my generator skill and then I'll have my other skills, everything else be one through five on the keyboard. And as I was playing, I will get rares and legendaries pretty frequently. And I'm hoping they lower the rates or maybe just in the end game, the end game legendaries are actually harder to get. But um, I will get legendaries and they will have like four fixes and, the, and then the legendary fix. So rares like at level 15 to 25, rares were like useless because most of them didn't even have four fixes. They had like three or less. And so um, I'd rather I just have the one with four with the legendary fix. And then just taking the aspect, putting on something else is, is okay. Like I would have a glove that had plus one twisting blades. And that's the main attack that I use. Um, so um, I might just put it on there because I just like that one so much. And I couldn't find a legendary with that. So I can understand that in. But then most of the time, they were kind of useless. <laughs> so regarding the skill and the skill tree, I feel like it's lacking variety. Like, as in the beginning, you have like two melee skills and then two range skills. And then as you go down, it gets less and less. And then once you get to the end, you pretty much only just need that one skill for your build. And everything else is kind of like meh because of how you set up your build. <laughs> and I just feel like the skills could use more nodes. Like, it just has that one node and then you pick one or the other, right? I feel like they should have another one of those actually there. And... The nodes only just little secondary effects, right? So that's why I didn't feel as impactful. And the skills seems a little less interesting, at least for the rogue that I play with. So uh, I was hoping they would have more skill changing moves in the tree, but more of it is actually on the items, the legendary items. So only the legendary item has the fixes to actually change the way you kind of play. So that that's like the only thing, not the skill. I wish they had like a mix of both. Uh, maybe the Paragon board will help it, but right now, that's the way I felt. And I did have trouble respecking, at least the first node. I had seven points in the first node, and somehow I can't respect it. Is <laughs> well, I have to backtrack. I can't just like remove a point here, even though I have a. I already have at least two points, right? How come I can't remove it as long as at least two points in here? It should make it if you have at least two points. In the tree, you don't you can respect. Like what the f, man? That doesn't make any freaking. All right.
there is level scaling and it's okay. It allows you to party with anyone and there's like no penalties and you always get experience points. Um, I just had a thought that this won't happen, but I was hoping that maybe there's like a minimum scaling per act. Let's say you're act two, right? And you're like less than level 20. Um, the monster will just minimum at level 20. And then vice versa, like let's say you get level 26 or 30 or something, you come back the first act, the monster don't scale to you. Uh, it would just be max 25. But I understand they want people to like revisit and stuff and events and stuff. So um, it would be scaling so there's no discrepancy and stuff like that. But I, I, I just wish it was the other case. <laughs> also, also, I miss having a transparent map when I'm moving, right? If you hit tab, it opens a map and it just covers your whole screen and then you're not even sure if you're moving or whatever. I miss the transparent map where I can actually keep moving and seeing and navigating as I'm moving. Cause that mini map is like, it only covers so much. <laughs> All right. The quests are your like typical quests. Not much to say. I'm enjoying the tone and the story so far though. And there are times where it's just dark and gross and it fits the theme of the game. The lore kept me intrigued. It was interesting enough and dark enough to keep me thinking what's going to happen. And the graphics and the sound are great. Immersing me more into the world. Now with the sellers, I wish it was more varied. It was pretty much just kill all the mobs and it's just like hallway and a medium sized room. And then the dungeon, I hate it that I have to get an item. Like I hit the door and I have to go left or right to get an item. And then I have to run back to the door, put it back and then do the same thing the other side. I, they could have like some kind of stairs or a teleport to go back to the door. That would be great. Uh, and then there's also award events in the world. I wish they were also more varied. It seemed like the same event at the same spot, or maybe like the mobs were always the same for those events. I um, was hoping maybe they can like make it more random a little bit, but maybe as you get older, get through the game, they have more options open up and then it'll be different. <laughs> so we'll see about that part. And the world boss was fun and rewarding. So that's what I most enjoyed about it. The grinding all the way up and then leveling and then finding the world boss with a lot of people or, or with your friends and stuff like that. So I look forward to having more world bosses and learning their mechanics. Cause once you understand their attack pattern, it becomes easy and I enjoy that process. All right. Despite the issues I encountered, I still can't wait to get into the game. On launch day, I got the deluxe version only due to the four days head start. Yeah, it's kind of messed up that they did this, but it is a good marketing strategy to, you know, make money. Uh, for me, I did have a great time and I can't wait to see how the end game and the Paragon system will feel. And I'll be streaming it on Twitch. Uh, it's going to be my next main game. So check it out. Twitch.tv slash And I'll see you guys next time. Later days. <laughs> Why does this so hard?